Greetings fellow Gorehounds and welcome back to a Blood Splatter vlog. I'm the Horror Guru. And I'm Count Dracula. And today we're going to talk about a horror movie called Gaia, which is a South African horror film that was recommended to us in our In the Earth vlog by just about everybody. Um, because apparently there's some thematic parallels between this movie and In the Earth. Um, and I say apparently because I... Uh, yeah. But I, but I mean, they actually are. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. The, the parallels are actually there. One could actually be seen as like, uh, they're two different movies with the exact same concept. Yeah, yeah. You know, a fungus intelligence is doing a thing. Yup, yup. You know, uh, people, people in the woods dealing with some sort of weird fungal intelligence that may or may not be an ancient god of some kind like when we say god we mean like the lovecraftian type of god yeah, like yeah. an old one um yeah but unlike in the earth which is way more just like people going insane that one's way more psychological this one is way more body horror yeah 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 this has people like turning into mushroom people and shit yeah you know <laughs> it's fucking gnarly <laughs> The effects in this movie really fucking like get to you because, okay, when I was a kid, I used to have these fucking nightmares of like fungi taking over my body and like morphing my skin. And the reason why I had this nightmare is because when I was a kid at one point, I got ringworm and that just put the fucking oh, fear in my head, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, this movie hits all of those notes way too well yeah 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 because they like you know like people start like growing like fungus oh, out of their man. pores and shit you oh, know it's just uh, <laughs> it's fucking oh i love it but it's oh, oh yeah uh, the, the, okay so uh even though they're thematically relevant i do want to point out that these movies are different enough to where you might like one but not the other um, oh yeah for Look. for the simple reason that if you're not a body horror person then this movie is just gonna be too much for you um, but if you are a body horror person, you're gonna love this, love movie. this one. Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, if you were like, yeah, the only problem with In the Earth is it wasn't gross enough. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you, you, this one's got you covered. So the basic premise of this movie is there are um, uh, these two, I guess you would call them forest rangers. Yeah, they're, they're, like, they're the equivalent South African version of forest um, rangers. Yeah, yeah. Basically, and, and they've been tasked with going out into the woods and replacing their observation cameras. Um, uh, the cameras that they put out into the woods. You know how in like nature documentaries, they always have get all these footage of like animals out in the wild. Mm -hmm. um, uh, some of the, one of the ways they do that, besides actually just sending uh, people with cameras out into the woods is they'll put little cameras on trees and shit like that to just observe areas in which there is known wildlife. Um, and so they've been tasked out into the woods to, you know, replace some of those camera batteries yeah. and to take some of the SIM cards and put them with fresh SIM cards and all that stuff. But they end up stumbling across these um, uh, two mountain men, for lack of a better wo word. Yeah, they're like cr these two crazy white dudes mm -hmm. who've like decided we're just going to live in the jungle. Um, and it becomes quickly apparent that as scary as those guys are, the scarier thing are the mushroom monsters that are living out in the woods. Yeah. Um, and at first I thought they just came out at night, but it turns out they come out all the time. No, they're just there. <laughs> they're just yeah. there. They're just there because they don't have eyes. Oh God, yeah. You know, like daylight, what the, the fuck's that? There's some just straight up, like their vision is based on movement scenes. Oh yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, yeah, it's definitely like this one of the monsters, of... like, when it attacked, felt like it was Silent Hill shit. Oh, it yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> you know, like, this was definitely, like, just, look, there's a lot of gratuitous body horror in this thing. It <laughs> makes it amazing. Oh, um, yeah. It's also a more overtly sexual movie. Oh, very. Um, than very. The Earth. There's, like, it's there... venereal. Yeah. <laughs> it's venereal. Yeah. You know? You know, so you get a lot more nudity and sexual tension throughout the film, um, uh, which kind of makes sense because, like, one of the other, um, whereas, whereas the uh, in the Earth was more about the cross section of science and art and the Earth. It's more intellectual. Yeah, it's more about the mind. This one is way more about the body. So oh, yeah. it's it's about it's about like. Our bodies are nature as much as the forest is nature and the cross sections of that. Yeah. Um, um, right down to the point where there's an imagery literally of a guy fucking the ground at one point. Yeah. <laughs> like, and, and when I say fucking the ground, I mean, you see that ass. Oh, yeah. He's, ass. Just like, he's going ham on that. Dirt, in that hole. So you see some shit when you watch this movie. But both movies also have a very psychedelic element to them. 
Yeah, um, let's talk about mushrooms. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. <laughs> Um, so unlike in the earth, I would not recommend actually taking any substances like that when you watch this movie, because I think you're just going to have nightmares if you watch this well, one. I, 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 well, unless you're really experienced, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, really experienced in the matter and not too worried <laughs> about, like, mushrooms growing out of your fucking skin. <laughs> yeah. You know, like, if, if you got one of those, you know, make sure you're, you're good on both levels. Um, but like, but, but with both movies, there's also the um, thematic conversation about man and its effect on nature and all that stuff. Like, these are yeah. very much yeah. like global warming commentary horror movies. Both of them are. Um, and um, this one actually probably more directly comments on that than In the Earth did, actually. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because this one is like... In the Earth is more about us is is more about like a sort of uh, about a it's gonna sound weird but like a cerebral madness. Yeah, you know, um, this one is way more about well, what is the separation between human beings and the rest of nature? Yeah, yeah. isn't that isn't that distinction non-existent? Yeah, yeah, you know, <laughs> you know, and and like whereas in the Earth you had them dealing with like the scientist and the crazed hippie. Yeah. Um, in this, you have like the survivalists giving themselves wholly unto nature. Um, yeah. 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 They're like, but they also have like this, this, this like kind of weird religious streak to them. They do. They do. You know, like they, like they, they worship the fungus. Like it is a God, an old God, um, which is a, uh, which, which has a lot of thematic parallels oh, in yeah. this movie. Yeah. Um, I don't mean to just talk about Gaia just to talk about In the Earth, but because it was brought up in the context of that, um, the entire time I was watching Gaia, I was thinking about In the Earth. Well, yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. Because, you know, like I said, it's basically, it's the same relative setup, but yeah. with a very, very different movie. Yep. And also, like, this one has way more of, like, an action-oriented finale. Like, it's... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you get some monster fighting in this movie. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. There is... There, this one's way gore. Way gore. I love um, it. Yeah, I, 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 def- just, I also just love the mu- the, the mushroom monsters. Oh god, they're they so... only show up like a few times, but they look so cool. Like, the, like there's some CGI in this movie, but those mus- mushroom monsters looked like completely practical, and they looked great. Yeah, yeah, you could tell sometimes it was like a contortionist in makeup. Oh man, shit. like the yeah. upside down contortionist backwards mm. walking ones, like that shit's gonna haunt my nightmares, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this one also, another thing that I noticed that they did was that uh, in this one is that um, it's much, the, 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 this movie spent way more time reminding you that spores are everywhere. Yes. Yeah. You know, it's just like, no, there's spores there. Well, yep. that's it then, you know. Oh, like, okay. okay, so like in comparison to In the Earth, in the Earth also has a moment in which like the spores all come up or whatever, but because this movie had like a focus on like the particles floating, yeah, yeah, it had stuff, a particle effect. That, that I was getting it. secondhand allergies just watching oh, the movie. Oh God! Like yeah. I have allergies normally, oh, but my like God. this movie just watching the particles float around, I could feel my nose starting to stuff up. Like, yeah, you know, I was like, oh yeah. man, yeah. It's also yeah, the the, the opening. I feel God, the opening shot where you were just like, ow, my allergies. Yes. Yeah. I also really like some of the stuff they do with the, the camera in this. Um, they open up the movie with what's obviously drone footage of the forest. And it like does these cool like upside down fo- photography where you're like, like you're the grounds below, but like there's like a, a water reflection on top. So it's like wobbling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it's, yeah, it's upside down. It's very trippy. Know? It's yeah. very trippy. Yeah, like... because it, it, it's warning you that like, you know, like we're going to be fucking with your perspective. Right? Like how In the Earth opened with someone putting something in the Earth, Gaia opens up with a shot of Gaia. Of Gaia. Yeah. <laughs> the Earth. Of the Earth. Yeah, it was really, really good, you know? Like, I, I find it funny that it's, that this is... One more of these and it become, essentially becomes a subgenre. It's true, you know, <laughs> like like this, this very particular eco fungus. Yeah, yeah, genre. yeah. I mean, I mean, then again, technically, it's it is a lot like uh, Matango, mm. you know, uh, the mushroom people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it's it's a bit like that, you know. Which another that, that classic uh, fucking Japanese film. Check it out, Matango. Also, play Super Mario's. 
Eat a mushroom, jump up, get big, <laughs> jump around. Boop, 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 boop. Well, there's boop, literally boop. magic mushrooms in this that heal people. So I yes. mean, like we're, we're really close to a video game here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like I did, I did kind of like when they ate the mushroom to heal themselves. I did kind of hear the. Doodly, 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 yeah, exactly. You know? <laughs> Extra life. Yeah. <laughs> Woohoo! So um, I definitely recommend Gaia. I had a lot of fun with this movie. Like, like, um, like, like both. In the Earth and Gaia are very cerebral horror movies that like get you thinking a lot. Um, but this movie was just because there was so much tangible body horror happening in the movie. It was just the more fun movie. Yeah, I like them both to be clear. But this was like the more fun version. Um, well, yeah, it's got nudity and fucking yeah. monsters. Yep. You know. Yup. And, and and it continues the mind fucks as well. Yeah. <laughs> Which, let me put this into the earlier part of the vlog, because I just now remembered it. Um, uh, the mountain people kill a whole lot of animals in this movie. Um, so if you do not like people killing and eating animals, or killing and sacrificing animals, then just be warned. Um, uh, so uh, it is currently available on various streaming platforms. I do not believe it is free anywhere, so you're just going to have to rent it. And yeah, you may have to, We saw it on what? Hulu? We voodooed it. Voodoo, right. Yeah, we watched it on Voodoo. Um, our original plan to watch it fell through, so we watched it on Voodoo. Yeah. Um, so uh, pick your poison, enjoy. And uh, with that said, we're going to move on to the spoilers, and we're going to just talk about the plot. Uh, spoiler one, people turn to mushrooms. Uh... Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Well, the thing is, this movie actually does have like some twists and turns throughout. Because, oh yeah, definitely. Because um, uh, one of the one of the core conflicts that erupts in this movie is so, okay. See, so one of the one of the um, forest ranger, the, both the forest ranger people end up uh, in the woods and attacked by the fungus person. One of the fungus, one of the rangers does not make it, um, and uh, you end up with like a very zombie movie kind of moment yeah where yeah they're yeah, turning yeah. into one of the mushroom people and... yeah yeah but like the, the the thing is is they haven't like it takes them a while to reveal the mushroom people oh yeah, yeah. but so you're just sort of like wait who killed the... you're like you you know something killed the guy because you watched it happen but like you as the audience don't see what it well is. you also have that one shot of the fungus growing on the tree and then yeah into his ear. <laughs> Oh, fucking nar Th Those shots were obviously CGI, but they were really good. Yeah, it reminded me. <laughs> oh, you know what movie it reminded me of a little bit? Yeah. Um, Annihilation. Ooh, yeah. yeah. There's a lot of Annihilation. And honestly, both in the Earth and... Uh, yeah. And, and, and Gaia kind of have a little bit of Annihilation in them. Yeah. yeah I can totally see that. <laughs> um, and uh, the, uh, the girl uh, ranger chick... Um, ends up living for, with a live for a little while, but while she's injured, living with the two mountain men that they end up discovering. Um, and uh, over the course of the movie, you find out that one of them is the father and one of them is the son. Yep. Um, they had a mother, but the mother at one but the mother supposedly um, died of a blood disease. Um, and we find out later that she we didn't. find out later she turned to a mushroom. Yeah, yeah. She she was basically given unto as a sacrifice to the mushroom people. Yeah. Um, and, uh, and she ends up forming a connection with the, uh, son, um, much to the dismay of the father, because it's very obvious the father has this whole, like, who is this person who is corrupting my child? Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, how to put it, like, he is, he's Abraham, his son is Isaac, mm -hmm. you know, and, but eventually God tells him he must sacrifice his son. Too. Yeah, yeah. But, like... The, the the woman is the sun sal the female is the sun salvation yeah you know she's 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 she's, she's the eve she's the yeah 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 she's the eve she's the well she's the she's the earth mother yeah you know yeah. it's a sort of like well yeah of course you're supposed to like find a female and fuck it that's kind yeah. of the deal you know and one thing I actually really liked was like the uncomfortableness of the weird, almost motherly relationship she formed with the kid while also- while also being sexual. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I liked the uncomfortableness of that because it, it kind of mirrored, um, it kind of mirrored the dad and his weird, uncomfortable relationship with the fungus. Yeah. Um, where you get the vibe that he wants to fuck the fungus too. Oh yeah, yeah, but yeah, But also totally. sees the fungus as his godmother. Like, yeah, you know? yeah. You know, so it was like a weird parallel going on there. And like, 
And uh, and so the movie ends up like turning into a survival fight between the kid, the father, and the daughter, and, and not the daughter, but the girl, um, and uh, the fungus people. <laughs> it's like all these factions. Yeah. And you're like competing with one another. Um, and uh, it gets gnarly. Oh, yeah. It gets really fucking Oh, gnarly. yeah. You know, and I didn't think I was gonna feel for the son as much as I did, but like once we get to the point where like dad's willing to sacrifice the son. Well, know? yeah, yeah, at that point, he be and then he becomes Mushroom Jesus. I also like that there's a little bit of like, me, Tarzan, you, Jane. With, oh yeah, yeah, with yeah. Her. Yeah, yeah, it worked, it worked really well. But well, the other thing that's like interesting is that um, rather than it just purely being uh, the woman trying to escape these two, she mm -hmm. actually like kind of she buys into their way of life. Eventually. She does a little bit, yeah. Yeah, like like she actually reaches a point where she'd rather just hang around, hang around with the fungus and, yeah. and shit like that. Um, the the, the, only, the, the only, only problem is the dad. Well, because the dad, the dad keeps treating her like this invader and this thing that's corrupting her son and his son. Because he represents patriarchy. Yeah, yeah. And, and he's also like. Um, Refusing to give her the mushrooms that stop her from turning into a mushroom person. Yeah. Because basically we find out that he performs these sacrificial rituals to the um, fungus creature. Yeah, the mother fungus or whatever you want to call it. So anyway, yeah, the, they, they sacrifice animals to the fungus god and the fungus god rewards them with uh, these mushrooms that will prevent the other mushrooms from sporing inside of them. Yeah you know, from spawning the mushroom people. Um, but he keeps refusing to give the girl one of those mushrooms. So as the movie's going on, she keeps having nightmares of fungus growing in her. And then the nightmares start becoming real. So you have that moment in some horror movies that usually feel like annoying cheats where the character has this really frightening nightmare and then wakes up and it's you're like, oh shit, it wasn't real. This movie, she has those nightmares and then like the next day experiences what happened in those yeah, nightmares. Yeah, yeah. So like they're not yeah, just it's foreshadowing yeah. rather than just a fake out. In, yeah, instead of fake outs, they're they're complete foreshadowing. So And they're fucking gnarly, man. They're nightmares like I used to have. Like oh, oh yeah. Like literally just popping up out of her skin and then she pulls them out and then they keep growing. It just Yeah. Oh, oh. oh yeah. The, the woman doesn't make it, by the way. Uh, she turns into a giant fungus at the end of it. She kind of becomes her own version yeah, of it. She becomes mother. the mother fungus. Yeah. You know, she, kind of, she kind of does. It's really fucked up. And we get this awesome fucking apocalyptic ending. Because <laughs> basically over the... Okay. Big twist of twists. Um, uh, it, it For most of the movie, we're under the assumption that the, that the fungus wanted the dad to sacrifice the son. With the idea being that if he kills the son, it kills the kills the kid, um, the fungus was going to reward the dad with something. But it turns out the fungus's plan was actually way more nuanced than that. The fungus wanted the son to be the vessel which carries the fungus out into the other, the rest of the world. Yeah. Um, because as much like in the Earth, in this movie, this fungus has taken over the floor of this entire forest. Um, but it cannot expand into the rest of the world because, as is established in the movie, global warming is kind of preventing it right now. Yep. Um, so it wants to use the sun as the vessel in which to spread its spores. It may not be able to grow a huge fucking fungus underneath a city or something, but it can do it in its garbage chutes. Yeah. <laughs> it could do it in its food. Yep. <laughs> um, and so if you have this boy going out into the world, so funny enough, if the fucking girl had actually succeeded in the in the beginning of saving him and taking him out into the world, this would have happened either way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, <laughs> there's no preventing this. <laughs> you, know, you know, he was going to spread the, the seeds of the fucking uh, godmother one way or another. And what I like about it is that he's completely oblivious to it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's as far as he knows, he's just like, oh, I'm around like other humans. But like where he step, you know, where he steps you know, minutes later, like, the shit starts growing. He's like the fungal antichrist. Yep. You know? Yep. He is bringing forth the fungal apocalypse. Yeah, he's um, like, you know, I bet he ate a bat, too, and started COVID. You know what? You yeah. know. Might be onto mm -hmm. something. Is this guy. Yeah, I, I, we've we've guy. solved it. Where did COVID come from? South, this guy. Yeah, this guy. <laughs> South Africa, turns out. Yeah, y'all thought it was China. You were wrong. Oh yeah, um, and even though this is a South African movie, um, if you're a person that like 
doesn't really like watching movies with subtitles. You don't have to worry about that. Oh, it's all in English. Yeah, it's completely in English. I had to like double check that when we were first gonna watch it because I was just like, I don't know if I'm in the mood for subtitles right now. Yeah, yeah, because sometimes you just like, no, nah, I just kind of want to watch the movie. Yeah, if I if I'm in a certain point of tiredness, then I, I I can't handle subtitles. But if I'm awake and alert enough, I can. Yeah, you know. And, yeah, and, and that. And that's not to say like like oh like I avoid sub I love subtitled movies like well, I, mean, I could not love as many Korean and Japanese. Yeah, I was about to say like, like Parasite was one of your favorite movies. That exactly. Thing was totally <laughs> subtitled. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Um, <laughs> all right. So, is there anything else you want to talk about in this movie? Oh, like, do, you, do, do you check this out? If yeah. you liked if you liked In the Earth and want to see a, a little bit more. Uh, a slightly more gratuitous version. Which... I will say this. When I read the description of In the Earth that was on the app that we watched it on, which described it as a movie about people going into the woods and the woods coming alive. Yeah. This feels more like that movie that was yeah, in my yeah, head. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, 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 I love In the Earth, but like that movie went in directions I was not really thinking or expecting. This movie goes more in the directions of what I was thinking when I read the description. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you know? yeah. Like, like I said, they're, they're two very different movies with the same basic concept, mm -hmm. with the same core concept, and but they're both really, really worth watching. Now, if you want, if you want the slightly more intellectual one, that's In the Earth. If you want the one that's got like the monsters and tits in it, that's Gaia. One hundred percent. Yeah. And um, with that said, if you made it this far into the vlog, then I want you to put hashtag Mushroom Empire. <laughs> so that I put that somewhere in your comment below so that I know you made it all the way through to the end of this vlog. And with that said, where can they find you, Count Jackula? Well, you can find me on Twitch at... You can find me on Twitch at count underscore Jacula every Thursday and Sunday at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I, I got it. I got it. Uh, you can also find me on Twitter, Jack Saint Wave, and at Instagram, Satanic Jacula. Oh, that wasn't as good as I was. Hoping. All right, your turn. Such a sad belch there. Yeah. <laughs> you all know me. I'm the Horror Guru. You can find me at the Horror Guru on Twitter, on Twitch, on Facebook and Instagram. Just look up The Horror Guru or Blood Spider Cinema and I'll be there. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and don't forget to ring that notification bell so that you're notified of my videos immediately upon their upload. And if you would like to help out either of us more directly, be sure to check out our Patreon pages. And remember, if you decide to go the Patreon route, even a dollar a month can go a long way. And with that said, I'm starting to lose my voice, but we got one more vlog to record before we're done with this recording session. So we're gonna do that and uh, peace out. Do <laughs> do